as I've mentioned earlier and as I've mentioned often over the last year or so since I've been making videos about these particular kinds of people who attempt to make a lot of money off YouTube, who do make a lot of money off YouTube by showing their horrendous, gluttonous habits and even their most vile, in Chantal's case, um, personal lifestyle horrendous, promiscuous nudity and a lot of the videos that she's hidden but they're still out there for people to see should they choose to look for them you don't have to look too far um, this picture shows clearly what she's doing to herself I think it's filtered, so taking into account that it's it's highly filtered, that the redness in her face would be a lot more pronounced, that her hands would probably be even more um, trotter-like than they look here. This is really an horrendous picture. And what she's doing on YouTube now, that she's in Kuwait, she doesn't have her old props to fall down on whereby she could go out in her car. She could go and sleep with a house full of men, which she did do on one occasion according to her house rule, however many that was. The drugs that were taken, flouting all terms of service on YouTube. Her cats, her poor neglected cats, her family, Pete's, all the rest of it we know what was going on with her. She doesn't have that to occupy her now. She's limited as to what she can do as a, and I'm using air quotes, devoted, pious, Muslim wife to Salah. Her 20 something husband who um, seeks sponsorship in Canada. Some say it would appear. Um, so this picture shows you the swollen hands. Swollen hands and swollen feet are indicators of a failing heart. And I don't mean in the emotional sense or anything like that. I mean physically failing. This is an older picture. This is taken a few weeks ago. A failing heart. And what she's doing, what she seems to be doing, without care in the world, is unaliving herself on YouTube, knowingly or unknowingly, or for those YouTube dollars. And of course, because she's not very happy in the situation, that she chose to put herself in.
So, to gain just a little perspective on this, it was taken um, whilst she was in Canada. It was taken some months ago, a year ago. Maybe longer, I don't know. But certainly, she was about £100 lighter. Don't you think? She must have been. She wouldn't be able to wear a dress like this now. And even then, the dress is struggling. Look how from um, under her bosom, it just comes out in one big mass. And her stomach, she's round about here somewhere. I know that people um, have said that, she said herself, that Hungry Fat Cheek is a lot larger. Or somewhat larger. Given that she's put on a lot of weight since this particular picture was taken, I'd sort of have to disagree with that now. We can't really see how she's shaping up under that scuba diving outfit that she wears. The skull cap, the hijab, the abaya. You can certainly see how, even with the filters, how um, when she's been out and about with Salah and that one occasion when she supposedly went by herself and drove all the way to Starbucks <laughs> to buy pastries and coffee, she clearly needed them. But we saw, you know, it was quite apparent how she was suffering, you know, that red bloated face, the sweat pouring off her, or should I say perspiration, in the case of a lady, um, even at six o'clock in the morning, an hour that she never used to see when she was in Canada, ever. I guess it's a bit different in Kuwait particularly when the man you're supposed to be married to leaves you alone for most of the time. But the difference between this picture and how she is now is mind-blowing, really. It's horrendous, isn't it? A little bit cruel, but nevertheless, this is what her life is. I've never seen anybody eat an amount in one meal that would eat a family, uh, fi sorry, feed a family of four or five. And it's not only gluttonous, given that she's now a devout Muslim. And the cat is to be paid to other suffering Muslims in countries like, well, for example, Syria, where her husband comes from, his nationality, where his parents were born. She's wasting so much money on fast food, and this is she. Chantal of Kuwait sitting atop a tent, a virtual tent of junk food. Please, nobody follow her example, not even for the money she makes.
that means nothing. You'll lose your health. You'll lose your self-respect. You'll lose yourself. Don't do it.